on centrifuges. Okay. Love me some centrifuges. All right. Um, uh, now, is this the one where you sit in a chair and go around, or the one where you mix up, separate your blood in a little? It includes all of the above. Oh. It includes all of the above. So, uh, do you realize that if you have uh, some solution, liquid solution in a bottle, and just set it out on the table, and then some things settle to the bottom and other things in the middle and rise to the top, that is kind of like a centrifuge. A little bit, I guess. You know. Okay. Because it's the, most the boring centrifuge ever. <laughs> it is. Because the denser things go to the bottom. Right. Because you had shaken it up and everything sort of flow, everything is mixed in with itself. And you give it a chance, the dense things sink. We, we, it's colloquially called the heavier things sink, but specifically it's the denser things. That's, it's not how much it weighs, it's how dense it is. Right. Okay? A log is very heavy. You throw it into a pool, it floats. Right. Okay, so weight is not what matters here. It's density. Okay? By the way, your neighbor will be very upset and will tell <laughs> your parents a that log. you have to come get that thing out. And man, is that tough. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, logs don't float very high on the water surface. Like, right. you know, night, uh, most of it is below the water. Right. And so it's not like styrofoam where, you know, most of it is above the water. Right. So depending on how dense it is, uh, relative to water, it determines where it, uh, where it will float, what its floating level is. But it has to be sort of le totally less dense than water. But how less dense are you is what it comes down to. And styrofoam is really less dense. Anyway, that, that's neither here nor there. Actually, it actually is there, but it's not here. So, okay. <laughs> so here's a bottle on your shelf. Okay. That's, that's a passive centrifuge. That is a 1G centrifuge. Uh huh. Think about it that way. Gotcha. You're sitting gotcha. here in Earth's gravity. All right. And in Earth's gravity, which is 1G, it will settle things out at the rate that you see. Okay, so now how do I create artificial gravity? Well, we do it in space. Well, we can. science fiction does it in space correctly all the time. What do they do? They make the space station spin. So you spin it up. And if you spin, you create like this centrifugal force that you feel as you're out on the rim. And that's basically a centrifuge. All right, so you can calculate what speed you'd have to rotate it to feel 1G. Gotcha. Right? And if you do that and you take out your bottle, that's a 1G centrifuge. That's what you're experiencing sitting here on Earth one, with a bottle on your table. Okay. Okay. So now, let's rotate you faster. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, the centrifugal force increases, and the urge for the stuff in your liquid to separate becomes enhanced. Mm. Okay? The denser stuff wants to get to the bottom faster, of course. And the bottom means the side that's away from the radius, from the center of the rotation, okay? Right. So the faster you do this, the better the separation is of anything that finds itself at different various densities. Mm -hmm. So that's what centrifuges are, and that's how they work. And if you have a tabletop centrifuge, like what they use for blood to separate the platelets right. from, the, from the plasma, from all of this, you generally you don't stick the test tube on one side. You need a balancing test tube so that it can rotate smoothly. Okay, right. so that's just to get the physics balanced. Yeah. And so, so then why not do like two tests? Like the spin cycle in your washing machine. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I forgot all about that. Yeah, you, yes. you, you, you the washing machine is, is walking down the street to catch the bus. You didn't put stuff in there at, at right, properly balanced. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, no, I just... <laughs> just you've seen, just, you've yeah, seen no, some... You've, blah, 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 right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, some washing machines, they're, they're totally ready to walk out the door. Exactly, right. right. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, the point is, uh, the higher the centrifuge, the more effective this will be, and the faster it will take place. Right. Okay? And the longer is your radius, 
okay? At a given speed, the longer your radius, the better, the better the centrifuge. So the centrifuge is enhanced by how fast you're turning and how long your, your radius is gotcha. from the center, the center of rotation, of okay? Okay, so, uh, so there it is. And now,